first and foremost, before we dissect the game, uh, Houston and the New York Red Bulls, I was really disgusted and turned off in watching a couple games this weekend, one in New England and one in Seattle, and the football lines there. To me, if you want to be taken seriously worldwide, and even in North America, first and foremost, this has got to stop, Franco. I got a buddy of mine from Italy that works in the business, and, and he also was telling me that a lot of other players watch MLS on tape delay. They laugh when they see this. Yeah, it's, it's not ideal, of course. Um, you know, the football lines really reminiscent of, of uh, you know, maybe MLS a decade ago. And, and it's unfortunate that, you know, it played out this way. But it's it's part of, you know, scheduling is a problem. Uh, this, this jam-packed scheduling, trying to force games in. Um, you know, and you have, you have teams that play in NFL stadiums. So uh, I, I read an article about Seattle not having enough time between, you know, the Sounders game and, and Seahawks game the next day. Not enough time time to, to do the turnaround and, and just leave it as a soccer field at first and then switch it over to a football field, especially with the rain. The rain could cause problems uh, with the football line marking if they had gone with that approach. So, uh, you know, it's, it's not ideal, and it's, it's something that needs to be looked at for sure cause, because, like you said, it, you know, it, it hurts it hurts the credibility of the league a little bit, and, and, and uh, you know, it's, it's not, it's not the, the, the nicest thing to see on TV. Absolutely. Big time it hurts the credibility because, as I said, I'm in contact with a lot of guys overseas, and they tell me this is Mickey Mouse. They, they don't understand why, especially playoff games are being played where football lines are present.